Hi everyone, Michelle here from the Creative Cove. I wanted to jump on today and show you the most recent craft I did for Christmas. I'm trying to do a Christmas video once a week, um, coming up with some cute little ideas for gifts or decorations. Um, so last week I showed you how to recycle some costume jewelry and some papers. Uh, so if you want to see that, I will link the video below and it's a really cute little fun ornament or, a, you know, an accessory to a journal, whatever, whatever you like. So today I wanted to show you this little video on how I put together this little gift package. And I'll, sh I'll walk you through it really quick because this video will probably be a little bit longer than my normal ones because there's quite a bit involved. Um, so the idea for this was, you know, cute little get homemade gift for either teachers or co-workers, uh, you know, family members, and it kind of showcases your your paper skills and your creativity. And what I like about it is they can be recycled. So if you don't um, put their name specifically right on it, they can reuse it or re-gift it themselves. So this is a really cute little book with uh, some cute little embellishments. Um, and it's made out of a paper bag, which I love. I love the idea of, you know, taking a simple little lunch bag. I'm gonna show you how I make it and turning it into this really cute um, gift package. And you can put anything you want in it. So uh, there's little pockets. I made a little pocket for the front. And this is maybe where I would put to and from and, and so that they can reuse this or not. Um, inside here, which is the opening of the bag itself, makes a little pocket and there's some gift tags they can use. So it's kind of like a, um, a little idea where they can put their little shopping list or Christmas lists um, and then they can use the tags that you've made and add them to their own little decorations and gift packages and they're homemade so they have that really nice little touch and there's a pocket up here there's a pocket here and a pocket here so you can see there's a lot of pockets and then I made a little booklet that's sewn in and that's where the little charms are on the back. So I'll show you how to make those today. So there's, a, you know, little notes they can write. Here's a little tear off book with the scraps left over and they can just tear notes off. Here's a little permanent Christmas list or things they need to check off. Here's a little side shallow, shallow pocket with another gift tag they can use. And here's another pocket on the back. And then I just embellished the back of it. So I think it's really adorable myself. I mean, I think what a cute little gift it would be. Really homemade, really nice little touches. And then I made this envelope as well. So this I'm not going to show you how to make today. I might show you on another video. Um, but again, you can use the tag here to give it to somebody. And then inside, I thought what a great place to put like a little you know gift card of sorts, like Tim Hortons. Well, here in Canada, it's Tim Hortons. But, you know, whatever whatever coffee shop or, um, you know, liquor store or whatever gift card you want to give to a friend, a teacher, a coworker, whatever you want. So I'm going to walk you through this project today. I think it's a really cute project and uh, it's, you know, I just sit in front of the TV and play and watch TV and make these. So let's get started. So we're going to use a standard paper bag. Now I think I got this idea of how to use the paper bag off another YouTuber. I think she was called Craft or Scrapbook With Me Crafts, I think it was. And she did a really uh, cute job. She got the idea from somebody else and then made her own. So it's great to watch YouTube channels and snowball on other people's ideas and create your very own, which is why I love doing YouTube. I'd love to, to share ideas and then you can go off and you know either copy it or do your, your very own so I did splurge and I bought some Christmas paper which I usually don't do but um, I didn't have any Christmas uh, in my stash so I did buy a couple of random sheets at my local scrapbook place and they're so pretty they're all different and I like these these ones that are already cut um, you can use them you know by cutting them out and they're already done for you. So I did splurge a little on some paper and uh, 
I couldn't resist some of this paper. It's just so pretty. So I have my little scraps here. Uh, this is the one I originally did, but anyways, uh, all kinds of little scraps here that uh, I'd like to use up. So let's start with uh, the cover. Let's find something we like for the cover. And uh, actually, before we do that, let's glue this booklet together. So as you can see, it's a paper bag. So we don't want this to open so big. We want to kind of close that off. So I just use my three in one and squeeze some in there. So I'm just gonna close the bag. So I wanna close the inside seam and I wanna close the outside seam. So I just put a little bit in here just to seal that off. So inside seam, outside seam, and just press that. Give that a second to dry while we look for something to use. So this is kind of cute here. So I like him, let's use him. And cut him out. And what's nice is you can really, you can, you can uh, make these in any theme you like. And they're such a cute, you can make them and sell them. They, they just make such a cute little gift, I think. And let's find some uh, coffee dyed paper. So I got some of that kicking around because I like the, the vintage look. So let's just double check, make sure that has dried properly because we do want to get in here. And I am messy with my glue. So there's our, our front pocket, which is this one here. And it's nice and deep, so it holds quite a bit. All right, so you know me, I don't measure anything. I, don't, I just eyeball things. So I line it up and I give myself a cut. Do my best to cut straight. And I just wanna line it up with the pocket so that I have two frames. I have the, so I cut this a little bit smaller. So this video will be a little bit longer than usual. Um, so I have the bag frame and then I have this frame. So I wanna cut him a little bit shorter. So we'll cut this end off here. You know, and you can keep all these little scraps for other projects. There, so now I'm just gonna dirty it up. And I like to use uh, plain ones when I use my ink. Uh, just because then this has a pattern on it that I can reuse for another project. So I'm sorry if my camera shakes. That's uh, attached to the table. There we go. And again, just kind of tone this down a little bit. There. Just like that. I'm going to throw some glue on here. I'm just using a glue stick today. A glue stick in my three my three-in-one glue for the heavier stuff. So you can see it comes together pretty quick. Lots of fun. Possibilities are endless. Throw that on there. And we'll put this guy on there. Now you can make a pocket on this if you want, leave it plain. So this one I think we'll leave plain. Or should we put a pocket on? You know what, let's put a pocket on. <laughs> let's put uh what's this stuff now nah, let's just use the coffee so this is coffee dyed standard coffee dyed paper that i like to use i just coffee dye a batch of it because it's again i got that warm feeling that i really like so you will need a, a few tools so i have a little hole punch here and uh, you can use what you got. I'm just gonna do a little, just to indicate a pocket. Stitch that up. And we'll put that down there like that. So if I had double-sided tape, it would be much better, but I'm out. So I'm just gonna use my three-in-one. And I try to just use a thin bead on the edge so the narrower the bead of glue, the bigger the pocket would be. And I'll just throw that on there. And these pockets take quite a beading, sliding things in and out. So the double-sided tape is would be highly recommended for this one. 
just it's got a really strong adhesive to it so that's kind of cute there and we can always add a little piece of sticker here so let's cut that and then there's a little tone it down a bit adding some of my stuff to it and we can throw that on there and now we have like a little little spot for you to write their name or they can write their name or whatever you want okay so that's the cover so we can open it up now we've got our pocket we've got the inside of the bag to decorate in three panels so let's see what else we got uh, let's try and use some of this really pretty paper I just bought. Um, so I think I used this for the booklet. So let's do that. I'm trying to keep my camera in close so you can see what I'm doing a little bit easier. So again, I don't measure anything. I just look at the creases in the bag. And I know that I have to make my book smaller than that. So I'll just fold that up. And I want to make it narrower than the... The bag, paper bag so I'm gonna cut and then I just cut up this line and I've got my little insert booklet just make sure it does fit and then I like to round the corners I think it looks a little bit more professional a little round the corner there we go so let's find some Papers, some scraps, whatever you got handy. What do I have? <laughs> There's some music paper. There's some kind of messed up dyed paper. So we can fold that and just have a look. Make sure I'm folding it not too wide. Because we do just want to, you know, we want to spend hours on it. It's just a little scrap page. Fold this in half too, maybe. Use up whatever scraps you've got. Music paper is kind of nice for a Christmas theme. Let's see if we cut this right. And I'm just going to cut the fold because we don't need that fold. We just need this fold. Let's see here. Where did I fold here? So again, just make sure it's not too wide. Cut it up. Get rid of this fold and then open them up. And put these in. Let's see if they're too wide or not. Which they could be. We'll see. Let's put one of these up here. something. So there's a little index card. We can add that. I should do. Okay, so what I like to do with these is I find the middle. I just line up my papers as best I can. I line it up with the crease of where I want to line it up. In the bag so I did I guess I didn't show you that part I did fold. I took this bag and I just folded it in three so I folded it in on itself and then I fold it over so the covers a little bit shorter so that probably would have helped showing you that at the beginning uh, and then what I have to do constantly is make sure that I'm the right way up um, I've made a few of these before where I wasn't paying attention and I flipped the bag upside down and then I glued something in and it was upside down. <laughs> so every now and then just make sure your bag is the right way up. All right. So I just make sure everything's in the corner. I make sure it's in the corner here. I do my best to line it up. I'm not overly concerned with it being perfect. And then I just punch some hole. I punch a hole my little gator here and then I find a piece of string so here's a piece here 
and I thread it. So I just push it through and of course it's very narrow hole. So what I like to do is just use a pen and shove it through so I can grab it from the other side. And I like to do one at a time because that way I don't lose the, uh, the line up of the holes, which is easy to do once the hole is bunched. Come on. I said it was easy to do. And now look at me. It's really pouring rain out there today. So my lighting is not the best. There we go. So I hope I'm not casting too much of a shadow and you can see what I'm doing. So I just make sure I'm lined up still with the creases and I punch another hole on this side. And I repeat the process and I just take my pen and jam it through all the holes. Try and grab that thread on the other side. We are gonna cut the end of these um, threads off. So don't worry about the ink. Okay, and then I just tie it. I like to tie the knot at the top because I'm gonna decorate these with some beads. And tie it in. That's kind of loose. Let's try that again. <laughs> All right, so I'll tie a knot. One, and then two. There we go. So now I have my little booklet in there. So let's decorate this page. We'll just keep going. Um, so I like this ornament. Use this. Yeah, let's use that. Okay, so we'll cut here where the bag lines up and then what I think we'll do is maybe fold the pocket up like this so that we can have a nice little tuck spot there yeah okay so I'm just gonna clean up this line a bit and this line make the pocket just a little bit shorter put that there like that and fold it up and what's nice about this double-sided paper is that it is decorated for you on the other side which is great sometimes it's hard to know which side to use because they're both so pretty <laughs> all right and we'll put a little I can find it. We'll put a little whole half semicircle just to show that there's a spot to tuck there. And then we'll tone it down a little bit. So hopefully you're moving along with me and you've got some materials out to play with. Because it is fun to follow along with people. There we go. And again, double-sided tape would be the best option here. Just trying to get out of the shadow. But I don't have any, so I'm just gonna use the good old three in one. And I'll just hold that down for a sec. So now I have a little tuck spot. So that's what's nice about all these little scraps. Uh, what else have I got here? All my scraps got buried. Come on, where's all my scraps? Here's some scraps. So we'll use this maybe. Okay, let's glue this in. Make sure again we're the right way up. And we'll pop that in there. I'm trying to move quick so my video's not three hours long. But you can speed me up and slow me down as much as you want. So a little white tag might be nice. So all I do is I take scraps, I chop them, chop the corners. I do my best to center the corners. And then I just kind of scrub and tone it down a little bit. And 
and then maybe add like a little decorative piece like this. Uh, maybe actually the outside would have been nice, but I've chopped it now. Oh well. Just something like this. Try and cut it a little straighter. <laughs> There we go. And what I think we'll do is we will do a hole punch here. So any tags, I like I like the look of a finished tag. So I just use these little grommet things. But you don't have to do this part. I mean, if you don't have all these tools and accessories, you don't have to go all out. But I do like the look of a, a finished tag. And I'll use another piece of that string. I just think it looks and what I love about building these books is these tags get reused so you, people can really appreciate this gift and all the talent you have making all these things I mean how cute is this little gift tag going to be right so let me put that there so let's do that tone that down on the edges just a little bit don't need to do too much and throw some glue on here and we can put that here like that and I mean you can go all out so let's say you had like a, a Christmas tree punch maybe um, or a uh, scrap piece here let's take this piece fold it in half and you can just cut a quick Christmas tree out of it just like when we were kids at school, making those snowflakes. And then just down like that, open it up, see if it's might be too wide, but we'll see. So, I mean, you can do that. Tone that down a little. And glue that on. So now you've got a really cute little tag. And again, using up all these scraps is great. Okay, so there's our tag for our little book. First little tag in the door. All right, let's do this page now. So actually, let's do this. So this, this little flap is the bottom of the bag, as you can see. Um, so you can either just, you can glue it flat. I like to fold it over and get a little tuck spot here. So what I do is I give it a little punch. And I like to do the punching because I find it helps visually indicate where all the pockets are because what happens is you make these things and then you forget what you made. And then you, you're like, where's those pockets? I can't find anything. So I'm just gonna dirty up the end here so that that really sticks out. So again, all I do is glue the edge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, double-sided tape would be better. Just holds it a lot stronger and it's a lot less messy. <laughs> Just hold that for a second while you start thinking about what we can put on this side. Okay, about this pretty paper. It's so pretty. Let it match. Yeah, there's no rules. It's Christmas paper. So this is the Letters to Santa collection by Crafters. Crick, Kate, I don't know. Something. Something Crafters. But there's so many choices out there for paper. So is this double sided? Yeah, so let's make even another pocket by making this just a little bit bigger. So this is changing a little bit from the one I showed you. I didn't do this in, in this booklet, but you know, that kind of snowballs. So we'll cover it like that. And then what we can do is fold this over and create yet another pocket, a little tuck spot. So do we like that? I mean, technically you, you could create three, one, two, three. I think I like this side better. 
I like that better. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna glue that right up to here and I'm gonna recut that loop. I'll show you what I mean in a sec. So I'm gonna give myself another, try and center it as best I can. I'm gonna dirty it up, tone it, I like to tone it down a bit. Okay, so glue these edges together. Put a bunch of glue on here. All right, and we will slap this down here where we want it, and this down. And we'll just wait a second. Make sure we squeeze out any glue that shouldn't be there. I'm going to take my punch, and I'm just going to repunch this little spot here if I can get my puncher in there. I might not be able to. Let's see. Damn it. There we go. So there's a little tuck spot there. So you can put a little tag in there too. So I'm not going to make all the tags with you guys today. You can make your own tags. It just gives you some ideas. So the video is not crazy long because we still have the back to do. And I wanted to show you how to do the jewelry as well. I'm going to leave this here so you can see it. All right, so let's flip it over. So now we have the back. Um, so, well, this folds in. So let's do this one. So in the, uh, I like to do like a Christmas list myself. I, uh, I like to keep track of who I spent, or what I spent, and who I've yet to buy for. So I thought it's a nice and simple way would be, let's add some color first. So we'll add some of this pretty paper. I like to uh, do just a very simple stamp line where you can write down what you wanna buy or what you have bought or what you need to do. There we go. And then we'll just do, what I like to do is stamp first because I don't stamp straight. And that way I can cut my paper around my stamp as opposed to trying to cut my paper and then stamp it. So I'm just gonna go as best I can here. This is a 2002 Stampin' Up! and it's just lines. It's, uh, I got it at a garage sale, I think, and it's really handy, I love to use it. Uh, you can draw the lines. You can use any stamp you want. So I'm just going to cut this here like this. I'll probably try and add two more stamped lines here. Try and use the whole thing up. We can round the corners, make it look pretty. And then we'll ink it and glue it in. So as you, as you do this, you're going to see like your ideas with Snowball and everyone will probably end up a little bit different. There's just, there's so much fun. And like I said, they're a great way to use up scraps. Though we did splurge for some Christmas paper. I couldn't resist it when I saw it. I just thought it was so pretty, so festive. some of this on and then we've got one more to decorate and then I'll show you how to do how I did the little beads so there's a little Christmas list option and again this is a really cute cute gift Pers like really homemade lovely little gift for a co-worker or a teacher or whatever and you can always throw in like I said that envelope with a little or put a you know a gift card in here a little gift card with a tag on it says pull so they see it or something all right so what i did put in there was those ones that i had purchased uh, the sheet that i bought around here somewhere i just used it where did i put it 
Come on. I just had it. I have so much scraps now, I can't keep track. Um, well, we'll just use this one then. They're a bit big, but we can cut them smaller. So all I did was cut these out. Let's make sure they're not too big. And because they're already organized into these really pretty little tags for you, I mean, you can make every single tag, but sometimes it's nice to just take something like this that's kind of already done for you. I like the other ones better. I don't know where I put that sheet of paper. It was really nice and handy. Anyways. So what you can do is basically I uh, give them extra gift tags just by adding a little thing on the back here where they can write something. So we'll ink that up. Just do one for you here so you can see how nice they come together. And we'll glue that. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear the rain coming down out there. But she's pouring. And then again, just a little hole here and I like to reinforce with one of these little guys and put that in there close this up oops I'm trying to turn it sideways so you can see another little piece of ribbon or you use string wool whatever you've got this one we'll just tie through like this so it's not too long a video <laughs> most paranoid my videos are too long I don't know why I guess because when I watch YouTube videos I like to get straight into the action I want to get straight to the point so I try not to talk too much at the beginning it's a nice little tag and that can go right in here. Actually, I think I might round the corners on this too. I just think it looks a little cuter at the bottom. And then they can just write to who from who. So you're giving them a little collection of, and then that nice big envelope. So in this one that I showed you, here's two here. And the envelope, little tags for them to use. Another nice little homemade idea. All right, so I think we just have the back. That's probably, oh, and the middle. Ooh, gotta keep going. <laughs> so for the middle, let's just do something very simple. Um, take a piece of scrap here, and we'll just chop it. And we'll just do a very simple, quick little spot for one of those tearaway I don't know what they're called, but you basically just staple a bunch of your scraps together and it makes like a little tearaway pad, which works great. So we'll indicate a pocket again. We'll get it all dirty. And we'll glue it in. And then while that's drying, we will make our little scrap one. That's a lot of glue. There we go. Just put that there. So we don't even need to decorate it. We could always put a stamp. Let's put a stamp. There's an idea. I had a little Christmas stamp here somewhere here. I got this one too at the same garage sale. Stampin' 2004 stamping it up as little trees. Let's put that in there just to fill that space. We'll put uh, a few of them in. Put that. Christmas tree. 
And then we'll do another one here. So there we go, some trees. You can color those in if you want it. So we got uh, this little scrap piece here. We're just gonna do a real quick little fold over thing. So I've got that, um, look for some scraps. Got some of this, this, and I should have some more in here. It's not really scraps, but it will do. Let's just use this so it goes a little faster. So the, the, these are some just thin coffee dyed sheets. I'm just gonna cut down here. Again, you can take your time and find use up your scraps. That was too short. So I'll fold that over, put that in there like that, and staple. Of these shorter and there's a little pad I'm sure that's glued again double-sided tape much better idea oh I forgot my coffee again it's getting cold there so we have a little tear away pad cute little idea all right so that that and then let's just put a pretty picture of something on the back. And I like this, uh, I like this Santa. So let's just chop them out. Cause he's definitely too big for what we need. I like believe in the magic of Christmas. We'll leave that in there. I hope. chop the bottom so I don't do much on the back I just decorate the back just to finish off the book all right <laughs> back to this again tone him down just a little make him a little bit more vintage Santa make sure we're the right way up <laughs> been there done that and we'll throw some glue on him and that's the back all decorated. And you can fill this with as many tags or as few tags as you like. The idea is that they can reuse the tags, which I think is a really cute idea. They can take your tags and use them on gifts. So you've kind of given them some of your own little artwork. So there's the book like that. And I wanted to show you really quick how we can decorate these. So what I have out, so you will need tools. I've shown um, other videos on how to put some uh, things together for jewelry making, little uh, bits and pieces. So you do need a couple of things. So you'll need these little eyelet type um, pins, I guess they're called. I'm not very uh, good at knowing the names of these, so I've got two here. And you'll need a pair of pliers, a couple of beads. I've got some red beads here in my kit. And these are just broken up from like old cheesy costume jewelry. And I just cut old things up and throw them and I try to color coordinate, but it lasts about 10 minutes with me because I'm so disorganized. And then I had these left over from a class I did, which happened to be um, like a little Christmas bracelets. But if you don't have anything like that, you don't have to go crazy just uh, and spend money. You can use up old bits and pieces of jewelry. So this is kind of a cute, cute little piece. And you just cut the extra bits off you don't need and use what you want. So, I mean, it's a, you can even glue that down there. Like how cute is that? So you can recycle whatever you have. Um, where are my tools now? So you will need a pair of pliers, flat nose pliers with cutters and needle nose pliers. So you can round the edge. So we're gonna open this up. I need my glasses. I don't know where I put them. And I'm gonna thread this on. 
and bear with me because I can't see what I'm doing without my glasses. And I'm going to close that up. I hope that was in frame. Was that in frame? Might not have been actually. Let me just show you that again. Sorry. Open that up. So I've opened it and I'm going to slide that on and now I'm going to close it. I hope I've been in frame. The camera's so low because I wanted to get close that I can't really see the image above me. I wish I could find my darn son, my glasses, because I'm kind of blind right now. I'm not on top of my head. <laughs> it's usually where I find them. Hmm. Put them down somewhere. Oh, there they are. I'm just going to be running grab those. There we go. Definitely need glasses to work with beads and jewelry. All right, so we've threaded that one on. We're gonna thread this. And we're gonna thread maybe one more. No, let's just leave it at one. I'm gonna take my flat nose pliers and I'm gonna bend them over so it's tight like that. And then I use the width of my finger is how I want long I wanna cut this piece. I'm gonna take my needle nose pliers and I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it sideways so you can see and I'm just gonna roll it back on itself. So it closes the loop. And then I just like to tie this through. So, I mean, you can add chain, you can do whatever you want. But in this case, I'm just gonna tie it. I'm trying to get it into the light and out of the shadow. And tie it short and tie the other one long. And then I like to add just a tiny bit of glue when I cut this because I don't want it to come undone. And especially this silky one, the silky ribbon I'm using will definitely come undone. So I think I'll throw on just a dab of glue before I cut it and let that dry. Just let it dry. And then I'm gonna work on doing the other one. So here's my pin open it up and I did uh, let's do the snowflake on this one and then close it up add a bead just a little round bead jeez hope I wasn't out of let's add another bead there we go close this off bend it cut it Roll it nice and tight there, and then thread it. We'll make this one a little bit longer because I don't like them the same length. Come on, there we go. One and try and wrap another one. Two. Put a little glue on that just to be sure it doesn't unravel. So if you're using something that's that doesn't wrap, like it's not slippery. This is a shiny kind of material, so I have a feeling it will unravel as soon as I cut it. I add the glue. If you're using something else that's not shiny and slippery, then you probably don't have to add the glue. All right, there's my little dangles. Cute little addition. And then you can just wrap it in ribbon. Uh, I'll just use this piece of ribbon here for my other one, just to show you. And again, you can add as many or as few of these little tags. So I'll just show you here. I'll take some out of, so like this one, we'll just take some out. So this was, this was another option where you can glue down three pockets, actually, four, yeah, three pockets. So one up here another one and another one and it's the same process I did with the middle where I cut the big piece and then folded it over on itself so I just folded it and folded it again if that makes sense at all and you can create little pockets so I just want to maybe add some of these things in here let's see where can we add them I've already got one there what's in here so here's our little talk spots can add these two really cute right <laughs> I think so and just fold it up 
one's a bit too wide for there, a narrower one there. And then we just tie it up. What a cute little gift. Like I said, you can add like a little gift card in there for something. And then they have their very own little piece of your work right there. How cute. I love it. So that was uh, today's video. Hope you enjoyed those. Um, I hope uh, it gives you some ideas on how to use up some of your scraps, a little scrap jewelry, scrap beads, and you can see it didn't need much. So they do go a long way and uh, have fun with it. So if you like these videos, please hit the notification button, subscribe, the like button, you know the drill. If uh, you wanna see more, uh, try and post one once a week. I'm gonna try. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye.